Hi, this is Pasha. Sometimes when working with the spreadsheets or CSV files, you have a date column in your file for a long period of time. But you might want to filter your data on, for example, the last 30 days or last 10 days to see the performance for the most recent time. I will show you how to filter your spreadsheets and pivot tables on the past 30 days only if you have a date column in your file. This is the, the data set that I want to work with. I have four campaigns and their cost and their revenue across a long period of time. My day range, date range uh, starts from 1st of January 2022 to uh, 15th of January 2023 for more than one year. Now I want to see the performance and see which campaign had higher revenue and uh, more profit for me. First, I am going to create a pivot table out of my file to see the performance. I am adding campaign group to rows, costs to values, also uh, revenue to values. Right now, I am seeing the performance across all time from the 1st of 2022 to 15th of 2023, a long period of time and I can compare, compare the performance of campaigns. But most of the time when you are reviewing data, you want to see the most recent time, the, maybe the past 30 days, the past 10 days. Right now, if I want to see the performance for the past 30 days only, I have to select the past 30 days here in the day filter one by one which is a manual work and there is a chance that you make a mistake and not very efficient way. You want to have another column that just filters your data for the past 30 days. To do that I go to my raw data. I am going to add a new column. Uh, I can call it past 30 days. In order to make a filter for the past 30 days of data, I add this formula and my day range, my date range that I'm going to select my day cell B2 greater than or equal to today's date minus 30 this gives me the data the dates there for the past 30 days uh, I need to continue my formula and again my date range my date cell b2 is smaller than today I'm dragging to the bottom. Now filter my data again. My new formula column gives me two values, false or and true. If I select true, I will filter my data for the past 30 days only. As you see, it starts from 22nd of December to 14 to 15th of January. Now going back to my pivot table, I, uh, I need to change my data ra table range to add the new column. Now I have this new uh, column here. I will add it to the filter date and I just select it as true. Now this is my data for the last 30 days only. Now I can see which campaign performed better in the past 30 days. So I can make better business decisions. I don't need to 
play around with the date range anymore and select the past 30 days manually. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you were looking for a way to filter your Excel files on the past 30 days.